Hello everybody and welcome to vlogmas day 14. I cannot even believe it. Um, you saw a little bit of my morning and then we had our master class that I've kind of talked about a little bit today which went so well. I'm so thankful. I knew like that Sebastian was gonna do amazing and that he is amazing at all things presenting and training and just his knowledge about social media is just absolutely incredible i see it every single day within our business but when i don't know other people are learning for the first time and just like soaking in that information it's just is so cool to see so that went really well also i was just like terribly nervous because there was just a lot of like i did a lot of the back end kind of like tech things to help it flow and i'm obviously <laughs> not a genius at that so i was like so nervous for myself even though i had kind of like a small <laughs> part but yeah it went so well and so i kind of just needed to like get that out of the way um before i could really start the vlog and then after that we had some lunch and um kind of took a little bit of like a mental break on the couch for a couple hours which was nice and then um yeah now i figured it's 4 p.m <laughs> i'll start the vlog so I hope that you guys are doing well today and having a good Monday. I cannot believe it's already Monday. It is the gloomiest Monday, which you guys know I love the most. So dark <laughs> all day. I don't know if the camera is picking up, but it has like little flurries of snow. And that's just probably like my favorite day. I've also like added Sebastian into the gloom loving community like he was so happy we looked at the um weather and he was like yes it's gonna be snowy so many times this week so um it's kind of been nice to have a week of that um like I said it's like December like way into December and we haven't really had too much snow and that's when I like it the most like in Utah we have a lot of snow throughout like I don't know like I think we stopped getting the snow in like April, <laughs> I swear, like we don't have like good days until well, well into the spring. So um, it's just been nice to have it during the Christmas season and um, so not much else. <laughs> I don't know what else this vlog is going to be, but oh, I did want to share one thing actually. So as you guys know, on Saturday, I was at my mom's house and she's just the best at like, I don't know, I sometimes whenever people ask me like why I do YouTube and stuff like that, a lot of my answers are always just because when I, grew, when I was growing up, my mom was like always filming us, had like, we have a, the most amazing home videos and memories and I just wanted that for myself, especially like being at the time I was like not married and I don't have any kids and so I wanted this aspect of my life documented as well as when I have kids like I'll know I'll do a ton of filming and home videos just like my mom um but she was also great at like keeping all of our things like a lot of our school stuff um and things like of us as kids growing up and so she always gives me like <laughs> little bits when she finds them and so she gave me another pile of things which I love and then she also like included this little journal which of course I'm pretty sure was from school it just seems like something we would have done um at school like first thing in the morning so i was reading through some of these journal entries <laughs> i just have to show them because i think they are so funny and so cool so like one of the first ones was from september 1st 2004 and it just says my best friend is adrian because we love to dance and play and adrian is still my best friend to this day which is so funny and then shortly after that, September 20th, 2004, I met my other best friend, McKaylee, which is also still my greatest and best friend. And so it just says, my best friend is McKaylee. I like her because we like to dance and play and have fun. <laughs> so I guess my only activity with my friends was dancing, which is funny because I feel like Adrian would hate dancing today. <laughs> um, I was sharing this with Sebastian and there's the funniest. I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna be able to 
Um, oh, <laughs> I have to share this. October 7th, 2004, I'm glad my best friend doesn't be mean to me. She's my best friend forever and her name is Adrian. <laughs> and it's just so funny because I think like back to just like my life and having to move. I moved away a lot and went to different schools and it's just so funny that me and Adrian and McKaylee could stay friends and we did and I think now even though we're married and McKaylee has kids, like we don't get to see each other as much. I mean, of course in 2020, it's like I barely saw them, but you know, even if this year wasn't as crazy and hectic as it was, I know that we're not able to spend every weekend together or, you know, and so we have to be very like, I don't know, intentional about when we schedule time. And it's just cool that we're still able to be friends and we know that like life will always change, life will always get busy. We'll both have other sets of friends, but we're always gonna be friends. And I think that that's so rare and so special. And I just, I love it. And especially looking through this, it's just so funny. But I was reading this with Sebastian and I'm not gonna be able to find it, which is so funny, but <laughs> my favorite food is mac and cheese, as you guys may have known. Um, but Sebastian is just over it, always over it, that all I wanna eat is noodles. And so there's a page in here and it says that my favorite food is noodles because they smell so good and I just love them. And it was so funny because he was just like, yeah, you've never changed. I wish I could can't find it but there's also um, a lot of the stuff is like from end of 2004 to beginning of 2005 and 2005 is actually when my dad passed away so it's really like special to be able to I don't know like see some of that my dad actually because um, we moved from Salt Lake from Utah to um, a really small <laughs> city called Elko Nevada and one of my last journal entries was May 31st 2005 and it says on Sunday oh well so my dad um, left to Elko a couple weeks I think maybe like I don't even know how long but um, a little bit of time before me my mom and my sister moved out there and he just like lived in a hotel and we thought it was so cool until we like moved there permanently well it ended up not being <laughs> super long um but so he left before all of us and so it says on Sunday I got to go to Elko for two days and yesterday I got to swim at my dad's hotel there were also good things to eat like cookies and I had a lot of fun with my dad and that was like the last journal entry because I ended up moving there um it seems because then I <laughs> didn't write anything else but it's really special that I have those because who would have thought that those you know we we didn't know that those were going to be our last memories with him and so it's fun to have all this and i think that's why i love like journaling every single morning because even though i'm trying to be like intentional and think about something i'm grateful for um i still end up just writing about like little blurbs of my day or something that made me happy and you think that you'll remember those things but you never do and so it's fun to be able to read all of these so I'm so happy I have them I thought I would just share that because I was laughing and sending all the pictures to my friends and to my mom and me and Sebastian were just having a kick out of it um so anyway I yeah I just love things like that and I don't know what it is probably because it's like a new year is about to come so I want to order my new journal and just also encourage you guys to I don't know start something like this just like documenting each day it's just I promise it's so fun and I think everyone loves seeing things of when they were kids at least I do I really love it um so yeah I don't know what is going to happen for the next <laughs> remainder of this day but I figured I have to start the vlog because um, I need to get something up this week. I'm going to be doing my empties video, which is so exciting. I love doing my empties. I do them twice a year. So stick around for that. It's going to be fun. I don't know when I'm going to do it, um, but it's going to be this week. And so I'm excited about that. I'm just staring at the snow because I'm mesmerized by it. I probably will go make myself a warm drink. I might do like a black tea. Um, we'll see how Sebastian's doing. He was very tired out. <laughs> like I said, it's just so crazy when you like have something like this and I, he talks about it a lot but like we of course do things on camera like I do YouTube where I'll show up on my Instagram stories but I cannot do like live videos like they just make me so nervous and so he feels the same way and so it just takes so much of your energy when you just have like built up nerves for something like this and so yeah I just hope he's kind of I like left him downstairs so I hope he's chilling out he probably isn't but i would love for him to like rest a little bit but also while we're at it i thought i'd go through some of these photos this is me and my little sister cameron she actually did pass away um 
a couple years before my dad from algeal syndrome but i just love these photos of us and my <laughs> school pictures i remember loving that shirt because i the sparkles kind of like moved and i just loved it um you know my sister i was always a performer even though i have no skill in singing um this was like a magic show i don't know who that is but he was like the magician another outfit of the day and then I had this um, phone book, which is actually hilarious because it's only my family. <laughs> but nonetheless, I could contact them. And this little thing from school, which is kind of a thing, but just a couple of things to make me laugh. But yeah, I have a little tote that I keep all this stuff in because I just find it to be so funny. So what's a woman as charming as yourself? It's much later. I think it's like almost six o'clock and I just have had this insane urge to come into my bathroom and deep clean, not really deep clean, I guess declutter underneath our sink, in our drawers. Like they're just sort of an absolute mess. Um, so yeah, they need a good old clean through. You see what I mean? <laughs> So I just want to go in, throw away anything that's like expired um, and just like I don't use or don't need, kind of reorganize things. I'll probably have to go downstairs now that I'm thinking about it to get um, a little, sorry it's so dark, to get a little cloth to clean things out because it's like if I'm decluttering I might as well wipe it down as well. So that's what I'm going to do and I thought that I could bring you guys along with me. I love a good de do you see our tree? <laughs> that middle section. Well, it's so funny. When we were putting it up, I told Sebastian like that. I'm just going to take all of them. Um, I told him that I saw so many people getting like great deals on trees during like Black Friday. And so this is his grandma's, but it's like so... I don't know the lights are out like you can see all of the lights don't work so then we have other strings of lights to kind of fill in the gaps um and then we were like good everything's great and then this last week now the middle section has decided to die out <laughs> so yeah i told Sebastian, i was like maybe next year we should get a different tree or maybe even a real tree and he was like yeah i'm with you on that and so we're not even gonna fix it <laughs> that's how horrible i am and i know some people are cringing um but i'm like listen christmas is next week right yeah so i figured what's done is done <laughs> we'll try again next year but yeah i'm gonna get started on the bathroom um it's been a while since i've done this and i love a good declutter session so i thought that we could do it together Okay, I just finished up and feel so much better. This is probably my favorite drawer because it's like basically mine with a little bit of Sebastian, but I love this bag balm cream. It's one of my favorites for my dry skin. This is something that I picked up thinking I would love it and the smell is just not my favorite, but I don't wanna like 
not use it. So on the days where we run out of our favorite lotion, then I just am gonna keep that. My dry brush that I love, my deodorant, I have my lavender spray, my favorite serum. These are my favorite. It is like impossible to focus on anything in here, but these are my favorite sunless um, self-tanning drops from Ulta, and then a sunscreen, my favorite chapstick, my um, like little headband when I'm washing my face. I have this Laneige sleeping mask and my e.l.f. Um, hydrating um, moisturizer. And then we have our toothpaste, Sebastian's deodorant, his like aftershave, um, and my retainers. So that's kind of the first drawer. This one feels so much better. I got rid of my blow dryer because I only use my little Revlon um, dry brush and then I have like my scrunchies, our hair brushes, some little um, hair bands and then we have like some of Sebastian's stuff in the front and then like my hair oils, dry shampoo, a random <laughs> detangler which I don't know why I still use this but I still do and then like a little volumizer and then this bottom drawer is just like extra products. These are like little randomy things we have like all of our medicine that we like to have up here um tanning stuff just like random bottom of the drawer stuff you know and then i did a little clean out sebastian's site is pretty um easy it's just like all of our cleaning supplies and then this we just have um i have like extra shampoo and conditioner um tampons pads back there we have like sun stuff um any of our like cotton rounds or cotton balls um nail polish stuff an extra razor head this is our new favorite um mouthwash we have been obsessed with it we love it so much my favorite bath bubbles we have like extra toothpaste um and then i just have like random little products there and that is it for the declutter of the bathroom it feels so good i got rid of a lot of stuff and it was honestly just nice to just to like clean everything out and I don't know, make it all nice and clean, especially being in the bathroom. So I think I'm going to cut the vlog off here. Um, for the rest of the night, I'll just kind of be working. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this day in my life. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys right back here tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye.